Governor Mike DeWine requests federal loans to support downtown Youngstown businesses impacted by the May 28th Realty Tower explosion. Meanwhile, local filmmaker Mario Riccardi prepares to debut his first feature film, Midwest Sessions, on October 19th in Boardman. Those stories and more on today's Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine has requested assistance from the Small Business Administration to help businesses affected by the May 28th explosion at Realty Tower in downtown Youngstown. The governor is asking the SBA to provide low-interest loans through its Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program to help local businesses recover from the incident. Following the explosion, demolition work continued through the end of September, severely limiting access to parking and pedestrian walkways. A survey of businesses in the area showed that many were forced to lay off employees or cut their hours due to the economic impact. At least five small businesses reported significant financial losses because of the explosion, according to DeWine. He noted that these businesses require financial support that is not currently available on reasonable terms. State Senator Al Catrona also expressed support for the governor's request, emphasizing the importance of assisting small businesses during this difficult time. The SBA is now considering whether to grant the request and make low-interest loans available to impacted businesses in downtown Youngstown. Midwest Sessions is a unique debut for Boardman filmmaker Mario Riccardi. Rather than following the typical action or comedy approach of many new filmmakers, Riccardi's film is a psychological, atmospheric story that unfolds primarily through conversation. Set to premiere on October 19th at Movies 8 in Boardman, the 90-minute film carries a supernatural tone, making it fitting for a Halloween season release. The plot weaves between different realities, requiring scenes to be shot multiple times in various locations before being edited together. Filming took place two years ago at multiple sites in the Mahoning Valley, with the cast made up entirely of local actors. Tickets for the premiere are $10 and can be purchased at BoardmanMovies8.com or by calling 330-259-8946. And Jean Gernert and her brother Jay Strucker have continued a 40-year family tradition at Municipal Signs and Sales, Inc., a business started by their parents, Harold and Joyce Strucker. Municipal Signs, based in Columbiana, produces a wide range of signs, from routine traffic signs to custom warning signs. Recently, they provided signs to warn people about creeks following the East Palestine train derailment. Next time you're at an intersection at a red light, stop and count, count some signs. Yeah, so you multiply that. There's a great need for road signage, and you look at them all the time. It's just something you don't think you're you see every day. It's just once you bring your attention and see how many signs are out there. And of course, there's a lot of neglected signs too, because there is some upkeep on these between the weather and the sun, the snow, the salt, the uh, that kind of thing. So we, uh, yeah, there, there always is going to be a need for signs. You can hear more by clicking 40 Years of the Business Journal under the online exclusives tab at businessjournaldaily.com. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Make your money work as hard as you do. Check out our business money market and CD rates at seven seventeen cu.com/rates.